To set up environment variables on macOS permanently, we often encounter scenarios where specific binaries are not in the system's default path. This leads to a command not found error when attempting to execute them. To execute the command, it's necessary to specify the full path to the binary. One way to resolve this is by exporting the location of the binary into the path variable. However, this change is only effective for the current terminal session. For a more permanent solution, we can add the binary's location to the system path within the dots profile file located in the user's home directory. By doing so, the binary will be accessible across all terminal sessions. After making changes in the dots profile file, it's crucial to source it to apply the modifications for the current session. The good news is that these changes are automatically applied in subsequent terminal sessions. That's all for this tutorial, see you in the next one.